my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, Holy Thursday, is also called Maundy Thursday. The name Maundy Thursday comes from the Gospel reading for the evening Mass of the Lord's Supper, this Mass. And the Mass of the Lord's Supper, if you like, is a Mass about the institution of the Mass at the Last Supper. Now, before celebrating the Last Supper, before instituting the Eucharist, our Lord Jesus washed the feet of His disciples and then told them to do as He had done. The word Maundy in Maundy Thursday is very interesting. It comes from the Latin word mandatum or mandate in English. Jesus gives the apostles a mandate a mandate to go out and serve others as he served them. He washed their feet, a task reserved for slaves, and he asked them to do the same. The institution of the Holy Eucharist, the Mass, comes also with the institution of the Holy Priesthood, which if you do not already know, both the priesthood and the Mass were abandoned by some Christians in the 16th century in the Protestant Reformation. So after over 1,500 years, some Christians abandoned it, abandoned these two gifts. Now both the Eucharist and the priesthood were born during the Last Supper. And these two sacraments of the Eucharist and the priesthood are so closely linked, for, be, for without the priesthood, we have no Eucharist. Without the Eucharist, we have no priesthood. Pope St. John Paul II wrote to one of his letters to priests in 2004, and he said this, At the Last Supper, we, meaning priests, we priests, were born as priests. And then his letter to priests on Holy Thursday of 2004, he also said this, We were born from the Eucharist. If we can truly say that the whole church lives from the Eucharist, we can say the same, the same thing about the ministerial priesthood. It is born, lives, works, and bear fruit De Eucharistia. A priest, of course, does many other things other than celebrating Mass. But a priest's very identity as a priest is the offering of the sacrifice of the Mass. All the other things like preaching the Word, works of charity, teaching, work amongst the poor, they all flow from the Eucharist and lead to it. Without the Eucharist, a priest is no more than just another social worker or an over-glorified one at that. And just in case the priest forgets to make th this connection between the Mass and the call to serve, Jesus connects it for him during the very institution of the priesthood, when he washed the, the feet of the first priests, the apostles. The ritual of foot washing is a great reminder of this connection, connecting, connecting the priest back to the reason for the gift of him being able to act in persona Christi, in the person of Christ. Thus the mandate to celebrate the Mass, or oh, sorry, his mandate is to celebrate the Mass, but celebrate also to serve others, celebrate not for self-gratification. The thing is, every single Christian 
by virtue of being baptized, share in the priesthood of Christ too. And so the foot washing can also be seen as every Christian's call to service. Thus the mandate or the mandatum from which Maundy Thursday gets the word. What you have seen me do, you must do. First given to the priests, is extended to all the disciples, to all the baptized, to you. It is a mandate that is the core of every Mass, of every Eucharistic celebration. Everything we do this evening at this Mass of Lord's Supper, and for that matter, every Mass is a participation in our Lord's call for us to transform the world with love, with acts of selfless charity, etc. And to do that, we are to be strengthened by the Eucharist, the gift of His very self to us, and then to be what we receive. Christ's presence in the world. May we have the courage to fulfill that mandate. May we appreciate the gift of the Eucharist and the gift of the ordained priesthood and the gift of the baptismal priesthood. And but may we also know the difference between the two. For the baptismal priesthood and the ordained priesthood differ not in degrees but in essence. On this Holy Thursday, Maundy Thursday, pray for your priests that they, myself included, may always exercise their priestly ministry after the heart of the Good Shepherd. May you also, in your baptismal priesthood, not only heed the mandatum to serve, but come to love the Mass, but come to Mass always, and strive not to miss it. Not because you have to attend, but because you love to attend, because you understand what it is. The sacrifice of Christ of 2,000 years ago made presence in our midst. And that's what opened, us, opened the door for us towards eternal life. Have a blessed Holy Tridium. And please join me tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Go to the parish YouTube site and let's pray or meditate uh, on the Stations of the Cross. At